Radio Control 99.4. Well, well, well. Well, we're lucky enough to have um, our Vice Chancellor, Mr. Mahari, and some guests um, for today's audio slash video blog. Now, it's my understanding that there are a series of these uh, Vice Chancellor video blogs available on YouTube. How do we search these on YouTube? Just Vice Chancellor? You just go to YouTube and you ask for us, and away you go. But also, you could um, go through the Massey website, and if you, you'll see a, a link to YouTube there, and you, you just go on there and you'll see us. As listed, massive hit rate, massive hit rate. I think I think we're running about four million downloads at the present time. Is that right, David? About four million. It's my understanding yeah, that you right. do actually spam it out to all the students so with an that's email. Right. That's right. We are really real, really keen to just be in touch with students and. We use a whole lot of things. We've just done a survey, for example, of 8,500 students to find out what they think of teaching and learning at Massey University. But this is just another way to prompt people to say, oh, th this is an interesting topic. Yeah. Get in touch with us. And it is a great opportunity for students to get an insight into what the university is up to and, and, um, and what, your, what your goings on are, basically. Right. Well, I'll, I'll hand it over to you. And Thanks a lot. Everyone well, listen up. We usually have a topic that we talk about, and this topic uh, today is going to be teaching and learning. Uh, Massey University has always taken teaching and learning as one of the things it does very well. Uh, we've got uh, a goal to have an exceptional and distinctive uh, learning environment for students and staff. We're going through a whole lot of change at the present time. Somebody who was a, an extramural student, for example, distance student, might have learned about our digitisation project, where we're trying to make sure that everything is online, easily uh, got to, easily changed for staff. Those are just some of the things that we are doing. So today I've brought along a couple of the exceptional and distinctive teachers who are here at uh, Massey University. Uh, over here on my right is Dr. Craig, Craig Pritchard who's uh, going to tell you about himself and over here is Dr. Angie Farrow who will tell you a little about herself as well and then we'll ask them so, so what's so exceptional and distinctive about the things that they do. So maybe I'll start with uh, Craig, whose microphone looks like it's ready. Tell us who you are and what you teach. Kete pehe e kwe. See? Mara Language Week. Very good. Um, yes, Craig Pritchard. I, I guess my thing is extramural, really. I, um, I think that's what we do differently. That's where we should excel. That's our important point of difference. I think that's where uh, I get the most um, rewards from the teaching I do. Uh, I guess over the last some years now I've been really trying to improve the support for extramural students um, and it's quite interesting because this group here behind us are probably not the traditional group that I work with. Um, that being said, the, um, these students here are actually taking more and more extramural papers so you get the traditional student turning up to uh, my online web based uh, tutorials and um, really getting a, a huge kick out of it, I think. Who are your students? What do you teach? All right, I'm in the College of Business, sorry, yes. I'm from the College of Business. I teach, I t I teach papers on the BBS and I teach the core management paper. It's called Contemporary Management. I also teach post-grad papers on leadership and change and things like that. Well, uh, I'm Angie Farrow. I teach uh, in the area of creativity. So I, I teach uh, creative processes and uh, another course called um, Drama and Performance and a few theatre papers. So the thing that I am probably have been most interested through throughout my career here really has been um, how to marry that very kind of creative and holistic approach to uh, teaching and learning uh, in a university environment. Because, you know, um, it's a lot of what we do in, in the School of English and Media Studies is quite non-traditional really. But uh, I like the idea that you can teach through the body, um, through the through the vision uh, and through the whole creative thing. So, all right. Well, Craig, uh, you've been uh, a person who's been been at the forefront of change over the last little while, as you say, largely in the distance area. And I had the opportunity to come along and see you in action, talking with your students online. Tell us a bit about the changes that you've made so in the last year or so that have improved uh, learning for students. Well, the, the move to stream, I think, has uh, just been tremendous. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a much more vibrant and engaging uh, online environment. That being said, I think there's some huge challenges for the staff in attempting to bring something of their engagement, their inspiration, their work to a stream environment to really lift it. And for me, that's the development of really rich learning resources, be they video, audio, um, 
in anything really, uh, and then really supported, rich dialogue. Um, for me, it's actually more the it's it's a mix of sort of live online um, meetings and and then well supported um, team resources. Now your students know this uh, very well because they're in your classes. But if somebody was watching this and said, oh, I wouldn't mind finding out what a cutting edge teacher like you is doing in business, can they get hold of of information that would tell them what you're doing? Um, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, they, they could look me up online and, and get links to my materials, some of my materials. Um, there's a, there is a sort of a community site for the BBS which does include um, little interviews with, with various managers and things. So is this supported in that sense? Um, I think the best thing is to you know, um, engage with your particular paper and on stream. I think you, we're we're all learning. The staff are all learning to to engage in this. So I think there's, there's there is a responsibility. I think on students to, to some extent, push staff a little bit here. Uh, I would argue that we we to some extent need a little bit of support and help along the way. But well, that's an invitation to um, talk to your paper coordinator, your lecturer, and uh, maybe ask what are you doing that's, that's different, that's pushing the edge of things and how does it compare with what else is happening in this university and other universities. Now, as Angie Farrow said before, uh, part of what she does is to work in a very creative area and that relates uh, well to changing the teaching and pushing the envelope for teaching. What specifically have you been doing over the last little while in the teaching area? Um, well, I, I'm not sure that um, I've been moving much more online, partly because um, so many of our students come for the, the on-campus experience and what I love is just cultivating that sense of community. I mean, the summer schools are just really exciting and buzzy events and I think having 80 people in one space all doing creative work is one of the best things that the, the campus can offer, really. So the online thing is, is not quite as central to the kind of teaching that I want to cultivate. What I do want to cultivate is the on campus universe and you know developing the arts and developing the culture here so I think that's the thing that I, I'm always trying to press home is trying to give people um, an experience on campus which is uh, which is satisfying and exciting but let me ask you a question about the fact that you seem to do a, a, an awful lot of kind of hands-on learning people are working with each other they're not they're not going to a lecture going to a tutor, reading something you've got them actively involved all the time Yes, I mean, that's not strictly true because there is some kind of, um, you know, they do read books and things like that. <laughs> um, but they do, but, but yeah, I'm very interested in what happens when you teach in a slightly different mode. I mean, we do traditional, I do traditional teaching, but so much like yesterday, um, I, I spent two, two whole hours in a workshop with uh, first year students just interacting through drama and understanding a text not just by reading it but by enacting it and performing it and discovering the the space that the text requires so it's just a different way of thinking about how learning happens okay well look that's a quick snapshot of uh, the teaching and learning uh, issue that we are interested in here at Massey University we surveyed as I said about eight and a half thousand students recently and had extraordinarily high levels of satisfaction and I think that reflects well on the dedication of the staff at Mass University to make the learning experience one that students gain a great deal from. You've heard from two of our, our great teachers here today, but I'm sure you're involved in classes where you've got somebody who's doing just as well. The invitation, I think, from both of the people here today is to engage with, with them if you're in their classes, but engage with your tutor, your lecturer in, in the class that you're in. Very keen to hear feedback from you, very keen that you make your views known about the elite teaching learning that you're involved in because we want to do as well as we possibly can. And to finish on that, I would just say as a signal of that, I think Massey University has won more awards for teaching than any other university in, in the country and that tells you just how seriously we take it. Okay, I hope you're enjoying uh, the teaching and learning year. Uh, enjoy the rest of this semester, a little bit of summer school to come for some of you, uh, but uh, go well and stay in touch with us. Bye.